YouTubers. <laughs> Seeing as you're watching this video right now, I'll assume most of you are familiar with the term. But just in case you're watching this as a re-upload on Vimeo or something, I'll explain it. A YouTuber is a person who uploads, produces, or appears in videos on the video sharing website YouTube. There are also subsections of YouTubers, like gaming channels, the commentary literally, community, literally, literally. gotcha tubers, the makeup community, <laughs> and the animation community. There are obviously many more, but these are just a handful. But what happens when YouTubers get big and want to try new things? Maybe expand it to a new medium? There are plenty of YouTuber movies and TV shows, but there are quite a few YouTubers who have decided that they want to be in games. JonTron cameoed in a hat in time, and CG5 has his own FNF mod, but there are a few YouTubers who have been in their very own games. And that's what we'll be taking a look at today, cause here are three YouTuber mobile games. A varying quality. So the first game we'll be looking at is PewDiePie's Tuber Simulator. Make videos and gain views and subs to buy new items such as equipment, furniture, clothes, and even pets. Real voice acting by PewDiePie himself. Complete epic quest to gain currency quickly. Show off your awesome room by sharing it online. Follow your favorite players and vote for them in weekly events. Connect with friends and send or receive swag gifts. Play Puggle, the cutest minigame ever. Amazing chiptune music by RushJet1. Returning from PewDiePie, Legend of the Brofist. Jadamuzz just says. What? You never played Tuber Simulator. <laughs> you know, it's fun, right? I'm not supposed to give my opinion, but give it a try, and then you can tell me. The OK Bob says. This game is still relevant. PewDiePie is better than T-Bad. Pick Your Peril says, 5 out of 5. This game is incredibly fun and very time consuming. It's really cool to see what designs or themes people come up with in their rooms. So first things first, this game was released on the 29th of September 2016, making it the oldest game in this video. But as the meme says, This game is still relevant, goddammit! This game is a textbook waiting simulator which both works with and against the game. You make videos and find out what's trending to maximize views. You then use subscribers and views to upgrade your setup. Hmm... I guess the best place to put my eviction notice is on top of my epic HD gaming piano setup. Unfortunately, whenever you do basically anything, you have to wait. Whether that's waiting to make new videos, or waiting for your stuff to arrive. The wait times get increasingly longer and longer the better the item is. But to keep the wait times from getting too boring, the game spawns in sponsor eagles to keep things a little more engaging. And if the delivery times are too long for you, there's always ways to lower it. Puggle is a great example of this. It's basically Peggle, but with pugs. Ah! Or you can always... Steal mom's credit card. Yeah, the main way this game makes money is by microtransactions. However, the game is still possible to play and enjoy without spending any money. You can also stream to get views when you're not making videos. The fuck you say to me, you little shit! <laughs> How are you Overall, I actually think this is the best YouTuber game out there. However, it's not one of those games you just play start to finish. It's better to just go on, update your stuff, and then go back off. The next game we'll be looking at is Odd Ones Out Bounce. The Odd Ones Out official mobile game. Choose your favorite odd one and jump on everyone in James's life. We know you want to. Bounce through James's life from childhood to being an adult and beyond. See how far you can go. You may even see some old friends high up. Now take a shortcut and use the sprinkle cannon. Jump on everyone! Bounce off James's mom, laser tag hunters, college roommates, to YouTube fans. Watch out for the devil, or worse, The Rock. Not the actor. Collect all the odd ones. Baby James, Swoobway James, Harry the Moth, the Furry, and more. They're all here. Now with Buff James and Ninja James. Except for Human James. Maybe one day. If you have ever dreamed of jumping on everything in James's life, then we've got a game for you. The odd one's out. Let's bounce. Play now! And remember, wear your seatbelt. Ultramaster03847 says, Good looks, good looks. These types of games aren't really the ones I would play, but dang, is this good? Llama727272 says, Awesome. Some ads, but overall it's a great game. Totally recommend. 4XLMayhem says, Boring. 
way too many ads considering there are in-app purchases anyways. Super boring after like 5 to 10 minutes. Music loops way too often. This game actually had a bit of drama behind it. On August 25th, 2019, The Odd Ones Out uploaded a video called Scams That Should Be Illegal. In that video, he talks about scams and brings up games with microtransactions that target kids. Which is kinda ironic, because this is an official Odd Ones Out game with microtransactions that target kids. So now it's time to see how the game holds up compared to the drama. So would you believe me if I told you The Odd Ones Out Let's Bounce had lore? Cause it does! So basically, James's life gets more and more depressing every year. Oh wow, we're off to a great start. So then he decides to bounce. I'm not too sure of the correlation between those two things, but okay. So the gameplay loop is simple. Bounce. And yeah, that's it. I'm not saying it's a bad gameplay loop. Oh wait, yes I am. It, it's, a, it's a pretty repetitive gameplay loop. But there's at least some replayability in the form of cosmetics, everyone's favorite thing. So yeah, that's basically it. There's really not that much to this game. It's uh, bounce. But I mean, if you like bounce, then uh, go on ahead, I guess. So the last game we'll be looking at is Tag with Ryan. Ah! No one cares! Ol' AJ Zul says, Subway Surfers spin-off? Great game, very similar to Subway Surfers. There are some bugs in the game that could be fixed though. Green Runny says, Tag with Ryan. I love this game. Range the Pogo says, Best game I ever played. This game is awesome and I watch your videos. You spin me right round, maybe right round like a record, maybe right round, round, round. So imagine yourself as Ryan Kaji. You're enjoying your life being a nine-year-old and getting anything and everything you want. Then your parents show up and make you into a toy, a game on Steam, a TV show, and now this. You are now a phone game. Congratulations! The game itself is just a Subway Surfers clone. You run through different landscapes and escape from the panda one. Look, if it's not Peck or Gus, I couldn't care less. Even though its core gameplay was obviously taken from Subway Surfers, it still has some original things. Right? The biggest change is that there's a lot more variety in the stuff you could jump over. The game also has you going through some very original landscapes like forest, ice, jungle, and rock. Now where have I seen these worlds before? Every once in a while, Gus will show up. If you tag him, you unlock a new skin, but it doesn't give you any actual advantages as it's purely cosmetic. Okay. I think it's obvious that this game was made to get as much money as possible from little kids who would click on anything with a colorful image. Oh, shit. Hey guys! It's more Terrors Toys Reviews, and in this episode, we'll be looking at another Ryan's World Egg! That's not blood. So before we open up our Ryan's World Egg, we should see what we could get! We could get a mystery sticker! A mystery figure with accessory! Now we can open the egg! Yeah! Fuck you, Ryan! Die! Yeah! Yay! The egg is open! Wow! It's a furry! That's so cool! Now let's open this part of the egg! <gasps> it's Mystery Putty! Wow! Let's play with our putty! Now let's open our micro figure! Wow! It's another furry! Now let's open our mystery figure! Wow! It's another furry! Now let's play with our toys! Hey other furry, what are you doing here? I'm just swimming in the pool with my friends! Oh cool, join! Oh no! I dropped my phone! Oh 
Okay, kids, I'll see you in another video. Goodbye. Um. <coughs> uh, so what if I told you Tag with Ryan has a ripoff game? Yeah. Meet Run with Ryan. So this is more of a Subway Surfers clone than Tag with Ryan is. You even move around on a subway system instead of the generic places from Tag with Ryan. But you can't do this in Tag with Ryan, so HA! Run with Ryan is clearly the superior Ryan's World Endless Runner and there's nothing you could do about it! F so I hope you enjoyed my small dive into YouTuber mobile games. Now here's the part where I normally beg for subs like a degenerate, but today I think I'm gonna change it up. Subscribe if you feel like it. Okay, bye. Subscribe! No, 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 no,